should stop flashing in a second once it's picked the speakers up. I'm scratching it. Uh, guys, it's Carl from Studio Hi-Fi and I'm here with Simon and Carl Hi. from Q Acoustics and they have brought in, the day after they've been uh, released to the world, the new Q Active 200 and the Q Active Hub. Now there'll be a little bit of explaining to do. First off, there's two hubs. One Google and one Amazon. Amazon. Um, so you take your pick when you buy which one you want. Suppose. Um, we've been listening to these for about an hour, an hour and a half now. I thought we'd only be listening to them for about 10 minutes, but uh, that obviously speaks for itself. Um, active design, truly wireless. So the hub networks to the speaker um, wirelessly. So no, uh, there's no Cat5 or Cat5e or anything, um, go, or, you know, Ethernet going to the speakers. There's no link between the two other than the wireless link from the hub to a stereo pair of speakers. Filled with tech, as we've come to expect from, uh, from Q. We've got a four or a four and a half inch subwoofer in the back that's using a waveguide, um, which is great for locating it either close to walls or there's a, a port in the back, if you bear with me, I'll sit you here. Yeah, so we've got a port at the top there for if we're in free space. We've got our waveguide and our sub there. Hopefully you can, yeah, you can just see that sneaky little thing. Uh, our power cable and you'll see our switches on the back there. Switch towards the center is for um, where you are placing the speaker. So this will correct certain things that will allow you to load close to a wall in free space or in a corner loaded sort of environment, uh, making them super versatile really. The left and right switch there, so you can have your um, mid range to high frequency drivers either outside the speaker for a wider uh, sort of response or uh, in, inside the speaker if you're running them in a tight environment and you like that, sort of straight down the middle. There's not much straight down the middle that goes on with them though because these um, the wideband drivers throw up, you know, which, which I was questioning myself until we've, we've just heard them and uh, they do throw up a wide stage. HF isn't a problem for me and I'm sensitive there. Uh, that's what I was listening for. It's a question that I know people will have uh, and a question that I certainly had was how will a twin 58 millimeter wideband driver deal with high frequency and decay and air and I haven't got a problem with it so um, yeah I mean there's, there's, there's going to be loads to talk about with these um, this is like I say the day after their uh, digital release I'm thinking what a matter of yeah and so it's a matter of days rather than uh, rather than months the 400 which we'll try and do again um, as in we'll try and sneak a set in before we uh, before they're for sale if we're if we're allowed um, limited details at the moment as you'll see from say uh, our website or the the Q website um, but they'll be sort of rolling out over the next few weeks and the speaker will be available later than this speaker so the 200 will come first the 400 will come after uh, very similar in its design but it's a floor stander and it has dual uh, subwoofers rather than a single subwoofer but, it, but all of the same tech is there the same hub um, active hub okay um, so we've spoken to you briefly about uh, Google Amazon they streaming you know kind of expected with a system like this uh, it's wireless out to the speaker so it's just 240 to the to the speaker and that's it but um, it's all it's all touch touch sensitive so they're not physical sort of push buttons so you've got to be careful I've already leaned over one and, and kind of turned it off so beware of that um, the on the back though you can see and this is one of the most important points for me it's HDMI arc come in turn your telly on your stereo turns on all of a sudden 
your TV is playing through your system. All right, that to me is 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 brilliant. It's something I I love to see in a product. Um, fiber optic input, and then a switchable line level or moving magnet analog input. Okay, so you can pop a record player on it, or you can put uh, some form of uh, CD player or any other source with a sort of line level analog output, um, and then a sub out. So if these, uh, you know, the Q Active 200 doesn't give you enough uh, bass, which there's a substantial amount of, um, you can, uh, yeah, out you go to a, a big boy sub and uh, get those bottom octaves. But yeah, I thought I'd just show, show you this unit. You know, it's, it's slim. I'd say slim enough to um, to go behind a telly if you're that way inclined. It's probably what I would do. Um, and that because I, I just I suppose in my own environment I wouldn't connect anything else to it really I would HDMI arc or I would stream um, and then I don't need to see anything I've got my speakers plugged in 240 sort of close to the speaker and uh, and off we go tele commands the unit via HDMI, uh, HDMI arc and then when you want to stream to the unit with uh, something like Tidal or or there's a I'll put a link below there's there's a there's a huge amount that this unit is ready for as well so you shouldn't be struggling for platforms and things like that um yeah seriously cool bit of kit it's lovely to see people doing this you know at the moment and they look amazing you know I'm ch I'm chuffed with them but yeah that's them we didn't do an unboxing uh you know we we did unbox them but um I want to keep this video relatively short but i'll put links below and uh yeah take it easy i'm carl from studio hi-fi this is simon and this is carl from q cheers all right Also, I dug out the um, Concept 300 for a little bit of uh, aspect. You can see that um, fr from the press images, I, I, um, I assumed they were the same size as the 300, which we've, we've, we were an early adopter, incredible speaker. That, um, but they're not, they're not. They're, uh, I'd say much more conveniently sized, but the 300's hardly inconvenient, you know, with what it can do. But yeah, for uh, yeah, for a sort of size comparison, the 300 and the Q Active 200 are completely different sizes. One is much smaller, much more compact. So yeah, 300, 200.